What's going on, guys? It is Alec Prester. Sean, I got a different kind of not to not the let's play you're used to. Today, I am playing on the Skyblock map made by a group of people on Minecraft forums. You can download the map off of Minecraft forums. Just just search up Skyblock 1.2.5. You should be able to find it. So I'm not an expert at this map, but I'll I can tell you as much as I know about it. Basically, you start out on this little this little um map in the middle of nowhere. See, that's not that's not water. That's just sky. Here, let me show you. Woo! Yep. Then you just die. So, I'm going to show you the things in the chest. You start up with ice and a bucket of lava and one tree. That is it. Um, there's an island way over there. Um, there's, a, there's a whole set of challenges you have to do too, but I'll describe that a bit later once I figure out the challenges. Okay, so first of all, the first challenge is to make a cobblestone generator. So we are going to do that right now. So a cobblestone generator is made of four blocks like this. Destroy that one right there. Then you grab your water or ice and your lava. Set your ice down. Break it so it turns into water. And then set your lava down. Now you have an infinite generator of cobblestone. Okay, so let's set that bucket back in there because we don't want to lose that bucket. That bucket is extremely precious right now. So the next thing we want to do is we want to cut down this tree, gather saplings, because the saplings are extremely helpful in here, so we're going to need them. So if we can get any see if we can get any saplings out of here. If I can't get any, any saplings out of this tree, I'm gonna have to start the whole map over again. It's happened before, trust me. <laughs> Um, if you guys want to see a tutorial how to download the Skyblock map so you can play it, just ask me. I've had a few requests of uh, people wanting me to do Skyblock. I know lots of people do Skyblock, but I decided it'd be fun. And Okay, we got a sapling. I decided it'd be fun to record myself. Since a lot. Oh, we just lost another sapling. One just fell. Okay, so we got one. That's really all we need, but let's see if we can get any more than just one. I don't. Uh, Ah, it fell. Okay, so it looks like that's it. Let's cut down this tree. I want to try not to lose any logs. Give me that. There you go. Don't want it to fall off the edge. There we go. I need to make sure I'm holding shift the entire time. Because if I accidentally let go of shift while I'm playing or I'm hanging off the edge, I could easily just get myself killed. <laughs> so I need to watch out for that. No, no, we just lost a log. Oh, well, it's just one. Alright, so we need to craft this into some wooden planks. Alright, good. We can make a crafting table. I think that's what we need to do next. Is make a crafting table. Just like that. Um, I think if we set the crafting table right down, it might burn. Because the lava can actually reach the crafting table. So I feel sick. Oh, alright, another sapling. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to want to set the crafting table like right here. So it doesn't get burned by the lava. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so let's make some sticks. Get some sticks, and now we can make a pickaxe, which we need. Might as well make two. All right, so now I got pickaxes. Let's set the one of them in there, and our sapling. And oh, we can use this dirt to expand the little place right here, so saplings can't fall down. Well, at least uh, decrease the chance of them falling down. Um, so let, yeah, let's get some cobblestone. All right. So let's get this pickaxe and gather some cobblestone. The problem with the cobblestone generator is you have a chance of sending the cobblestone flying towards the lava, which completely disintegrates it, or sends it towards the stream of water, which you can gather it. It's like a 50-50 chance. See right there, it just got burned. And it got burned again. <laughs> Wait. Ah, there we go. Sometimes it does that. You can just pick it up. So it's not very efficient. Have a okay. See that one just got launched into the water, so it didn't get burned. What? Hey, stop it! There you go. Stay like that. Um, what was I talking about? I get so ADHD when I'm playing Minecraft. I just lose what I'm. I always forget what I'm thinking about <laughs> completely, and just like go off into a whole new topic. I do that a lot when I'm recording. If you've noticed. Come on. Quit burning my cobblestone! Oh my gosh. See, that's the problem with the cobblestone generator. It has such a low chance of actually 
making you able to pick it. Oh, no. I don't want to destroy that block. Give me that dirt back. There we go. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, so we're not, now we got seven cobblestone. So we might as well make a, a stone pickaxe. Let's use the rest of this wooden pickaxe. Might as well. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm too impatient. Way too impatient. Do I have any sticks left? Oh, no, I don't. So let's make... Some, another set of sticks. And let's place this wood back in there because it's extremely valuable. Oh, we want to replant this tree before we do anything else. Just like that. Alright, so now we got some cobblestone. Might as well expand this out one more block. Just like that. Even it out a bit. So now we want to make our stone pickaxe. There. Make just one. Then we can keep the rest of the sticks for some other project. Alright, so now we got a stone pickaxe. This should make it a bit faster. Oh yeah, much faster. Still has a low chance of actually being able to gather the cobblestone. That's what I hate. Ah, oh, so much faster. There we go. See, I'm picking it up every time now. Oh no, <laughs> not every time. The lava's still burning it. There we go. That's how I like it. Boom. 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 This is kind of boring. Boom. Boom. Okay, so once we expand the island out a bit with cobblestone, we're going to want to build something. So if you guys have a die... I, I die. If you guys have an idea of what I should build off to the side of the island here, leave a comment. Because I have no clue what to build. Should I build like a castle? Should I build like a, just a normal house? I don't know. Let's see. So there's an island of sand over there. That's the only way we can get sand. Um, yeah, it's the only way to get sand. So, yeah. So we're going to travel out to there. That's where our next objective here. So how much cobblestone do I have? Okay, let's get started on this. So I need to build in this direction. Make sure I... Hold down my shift. That's what's saving my life right now, my shift button. Okay, you know what? Just to be safe, because if I accidentally fall, I don't want to lose the stone pickaxe and the sapling, because they're both extremely important. So I'll just carry the cobblestone with me. Because if I accidentally fall and die, that could cost me a lot. I could easily get it back, but still, it cost me a lot. Take a while to get it back. Um, another thing we're going to want to remember is that we want to preserve the dirt and the grass right there because they're going to become very important later in the game. Um, yes, very important. Just like that. So apparently there, oh, there's a chest in the, over there. I'm not sure what is in that chest, but I just barely noticed that chest over there. Hopefully there'll be some good items in there. I'm going to have to watch my hunger bar too because my hunger will run out very quickly. If I'm not careful, well, I just spawned right back there, so right in that spot, so it doesn't really matter a whole lot. But still, I need to watch that. Watch the hunger. And how close is it to nighttime? It's getting close to nighttime. I think mob mobs can spawn on this little island, and they can, like, just absolutely kill you. Come on. Give me the cobblestone. Oh, there we go. And over the cobblestone, my friend. Wow, this stone pickaxe is... Oh, hey, hey, stop it. Thank you. Nobody told you to do that. Wow, so this cobblestone generator is not very efficient at all. Oh, I have a new set of plans. If you've noticed, I've been using the default texture pack a lot. I've decided that I'm going to use a default texture pack for my Hunger Games and my Skyblock, just to keep it original and everything. But for my original Let's Play, I'm going to be using the Dokercraft Light texture pack. Just uh, for a bit of change, you know. Because I don't want to be using uh, one texture pack through every series I start. Because that'll just be kind of boring. I want to keep a var variety going. I don't want to be so original. I mean, so... Yeah, y you know what I mean. You get, you get it. Hopefully. So, let's see if this is enough cobblestone to help us get to this island over here. Alright, so it looks like I'm heading on the wrong direction. Let's just see. Let's get a bit closer here. 
We're gonna have to expand this out a few more blocks because this isn't gonna work very well for us. <laughs> and it's becoming nighttime, so yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm screwed. I'm dead. I'm screwed. In the old sky block, they they started you out with a bed, which was really helpful because then you don't have to like go out to the mainland and gather kill sheep to gather wool and everything. But works for me. So how close are we? We're gonna gather at least like 20 more cobblestone to get over to the island. So once I gather enough cobblestone, I will record that and I'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, so I got 19 cobblestone. Hopefully that- Oh look, a zombie. Our first encounter with a mob. <laughs> Amazing. Now let's just- Oh, and a skeleton. Looks like we want to spawn on my little bridge over here. Get off. I never told you you could be- Oh no, you better not knock me off, skeleton. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Oh ho ho, you almost knocked me off, my friend. Only I knock you off. Okay, hopefully this will be enough cobblestone to help us get to this island. Hopefully. Looks like enough. At least I guessed. Hopefully I guessed right. I bet you guys ten dollars. So every time... So if I make it all the way to over to the island with this cobblestone, you all owe me ten dollars, okay? Okay. We just did a official handshake over the internet. Yep. It's official. Oh, are we gonna make it? Haha, I told you we're gonna make it. Exactly one block. You all owe me one... All oh, obsidian... Melons and pumpkin seeds. Nice. I like it. Let's take this chest. Come on. There we go. And these go. Oh my gosh. We lost two cactuses. Those are going to be helpful. We're going to need those. Okay, so let's head back to this island. To the main, li the main island. Excuse me. And, hmm. Let's pack this stuff into the chest. Get a double chest. Okay, so cactus, obsidian, melons, and the pumpkin seeds. Okay, so we can start a farm with the melons. Okay, so we're going to want to craft this melon into melon seeds so we can create the melon farm. It's more important than just eating it and wasting it. Just that one melon seed can start a whole colony of melons. Trust me. So the obsidian we'll, make to, we'll use to make a nether portal. In fact, we can do that right now. We could do that right now. So, but we need to make a plat platform for the 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 Nether portal. If I accidentally set this obsidian down wrong, I'm gonna have to restart restart the whole map. <laughs> oh look, a creeper! How you doing, creeper? You better not come close to me. <laughs> no, you you better not. I'm watching you. Looks like he wants to blow my up, my, up. Looks like he wants. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Let me take a drink. Looks like he wants to blow up our little island over here. How dare you, creeper! Okay, so the Nether portal I'm going to build over here in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's build it. One, two, just like. 